Hi, I'm Dr. M. Karmakshaya, Open Source Software Evangelist, and also a full stack web developer. Uh, for the past few videos, I've been explaining how to deal with uh, Postgres, PostgreSQL. In my previous video, I've shown how to uh, work with, uh, I mean, how to understand the whole environment of uh, PostgreSQL with the help of PSQL. PSQL is uh, a command line interface. In short, we call it a shell uh, to work with uh, PostgreSQL. This is how we are going to. I spoke about all of this uh, in my previous video. In this video, I'm just going to explain about uh, some typical tasks known as CRUD operations. CRUD stands for Create, Retrieve, Update, and Delete. These are the four us usual activities that we often perform using RDBMS software um, languages. Uh, so in my previous video, I have explained as how to open the um, uh, an editor. In PSQL, whenever we press uh, backward slash and E, it's just going to launch the default text application of the operating system. I am in Windows, so in Windows Notepad is most mostly Notepad is the default text application. So after we launch the uh, this uh, text application, we can start writing the uh, SQL statements inside this uh, text editor. Uh, what I am going to do, actually I will try to uh, save this in my computer and um, and see that I should be able to save that as uh, .sql file I call it as psql demo dash today's uh, it should be and see that it should be saved as .sql file so all these things I spoke in my last uh, video and from here onwards, I don't have anything. So when I'm closing this file, save and close, and it should be able to execute. I mean, PSQL is going to execute this file. Since I don't have any statement inside, nothing is going to happen. So we'll just come back. Now what happens, I can just uh, go to the file system, to that particular. By the way, we don't need to do all these things. Uh, there is one uh, utility software called PG Admin. There we can do almost all kinds of things, but I want to show you the bare minimum approach to do. Uh, where do I have that file? Then this one. So now I'm sorry, I think I just uh, the file is associated with MySQL. So I'm just going to open with Notepad. Yeah. So now I'm going to explain how to perform these four important tasks. What are they? Create, retrieve. Uh, update and delete. For creating, we have the create function in PSQL. For that matter, in every uh, RDBMS software, we have the same. You know, create uh, to create the database, we have create database, and uh, to create the table, we can use a statement create table. And to retrieve, we have uh, a SQL uh, function called select. We use select to retrieve the information from the from the tables. And then for update we have update, and for delete we have drop. So for so to to to, to put it simply, I can just uh, for cut level activity I can talk to you like this. For create, so we have create, C R E A T K create, and then for retrieve, for retrieving. We got. I'm sorry. I'm using the mouse for writing this. My scribble is not uh, legible. Uh, for retrieve, we have select. Okay. And for update, we got uh, update. Okay. And for delete, we got delete. Delete. Okay. So this, these are the four. Uh, why I am particularly interested in these activities because these are the four essential activities we most of the time perform uh, whenever we have a table inside our file system. So the, the, these are actually we need uh, in any application. Maybe 
let it be a GUI based application or maybe a web application where we usually we create the tables and we, we populate the tables with the and to create the tables we use create we need a statement and here in SQL we got create and we we populate the table with with some certain data and that we do with the help of a kind of a, you know function called insert I didn't write that and then once we insert the values then we uh, retrieve the information with the help of and there is a particular function in SQL a function known as select is useful to retrieve the data from the tables uh, in SQL and to uh, as and when uh, we update uh, I mean sometimes we, we may feel that some certain changes must happen in the records and during that time we use a statement called update and then we finally if, uh, there is a SQL function called functional statement or command whatever it is there is a, a command called drop to delete a table or a database which we use so these are actually uh, I don't know maybe kind of uh, in, in most of the SQL uh, I mean a database software these are the standard commands used to do these CRUD operations now in this uh, you know video I'm going to show you how to create a table um, anyway, we, we've got, uh, you know, here, just let me close because otherwise uh, will, the whole computer will be cluttered with uh, different, uh, I, I even don't know, don't need this. So we already have, uh, you know, I'm, I'm already using, we need to use a particular database. It may be a default database or it may be a custom made database, the user level. So I'm going to use the same database, Postgres, otherwise I can, I can show you, okay, let me show you how to um, create a database. And then I'll show you how to create the. For that, I don't need uh, a text application. I can just straight away create database here. Uh, see that all the uh, letters are uppercase. Otherwise, uh, sometimes it accepts. And it is always better to. Uh, I mean, all SQL commands need to be in uppercase, and user commands need to be. Uh, user portion of the statement need to be in lowercase create database I call it as students now this is user part of the statement student is my name so I'm just going to keep it in lowercase letters this word I'm, I keep this word uh, with the lowercase letters and uh, create database is actually SQL part of the create database students okay that's all now you see the PSQL is taking some time which means it is trying to work behind the yeah it is creating now what happens, if I want to see the existing databases, I have the backward slash L. You see here the students is created. Now to use it, I should use backward slash C and then students. Students, I do a lot of mistakes. So perhaps C stands for students are as your user. You are now connected to, yeah. I can also use select. Yeah, here the prompt changes. Now let me so that it is uh, easy for me to explain the so this way. So it is easy for me to click one after the other. Okay. Now um, I think. Uh, yeah. Now your prompt changes. Well, if your prompt changes like this, earlier it was Postgres. Now after changing the database, my PSQL prompt changed to students, which means we are inside that database. Now we can go ahead and create the tables. Now my first activity is going to be create tables. Create, create. It is always better to uh, manage. I mean, always better to use a text application to so that the whole uh, activity will be inside a particular file so that at any moment after some time we can just open this SQL file and uh, see what happened at a particular point in time in the past. Create table um, I call student. In students database I got a, a student table. Okay now I want an ID so there are different options uh, once uh, 
uh, I'm going to create a table with a with the uh, certain columns, certain number of column, few columns. And whenever I define a column, I need to I need to mention or define the type of the data that column is going to handle with. Now, it, as far as ID is concerned, there are different options. I can just put integer. I can make make this column integer. But that in PSQL, uh, integer based uh, co I mean ID columns are not that good option. There is a particular data type called serial. By the way, how do I know? I studied everything online. And uh, you can just go to the browser and search for different data types in PSQL or PostgreSQL or something like that. Now, it is also better to make it normal. It is called a constraint. When I'm using this, this is actually a constraint over this column ID. And uh, it is also a wise idea to make it primary key. So this is actually the full-blown uh, version of uh, creating an ID column in uh, PostgreSQL. And I'm also interested to create one more column. I call it as F name. Okay, see that this is my part of the F name. And this F name is going to be Varkar. I call it as Varkar. People call it as Vachar. But uh, Kar, I assume this is uh, this something is to do with the character. So when we call character, it is better to call Kar than in English. It is a kind of real language. Okay, if name Varkar, and there are many ways to do this. I can fix the length of this um, variable as done any number, but I don't want to do that because the length of this uh, if name tend to vary based on my needs. So I don't want to fix the length with some certain number. Just leave it. And then last name Varkar. And then uh, maybe I want to also, I also need a, a column age, and this is going to be numeric. Okay, how do I know that? So I just wait a little. But for numeric, it is also possible to uh, fix the position and scale. So if I write like this, it simply means that I need two numbers before decimal point and two numbers after this no point, something like this. 12.34, something like this. So I don't want to fix, again, I, I, I'm, a, I'm not a fan of you know, this uh, uh, fixing the uh, fixations, and I always uh, keep them, and, and this is not a good design. Let me tell you one thing, frankly, uh, defining the columns in this fashion may not be a nice idea, but I do like that. And I'm going to define a constraint for this particular column H. And what is that? Um, I want to only accept uh, students whose age is above uh, and equal to 18 years. I mean, the students who's, who's, who is 18 years old and above, something like that. If that is the case, then I can maintain. There is a particular comment of constraint, and then age, and then check. Okay, age, age greater than or equal to 80. So that way what happens, we can, you know, fix the... So that's actually the code for creating... <laughs> this is actually the very first step, create. I'm creating a table. Now, I'll just keep the uh, text application as it is and then come here because I opened it from my file system. I don't need to uh, close this in order to execute this as I have shown you earlier. Now at this point, I'm sorry actually, I didn't, I didn't, I did not go to that uh, uh, place, right, where my SQL file is there. Yeah, I want it to. Let me see where I am. Oh, oh, oh it's not good actually. Okay, I have to go to that place. It is that file. It is inside a particular directory. RDB and this. I think I have shown this. Now at this point in time, if I use this, yeah, I am here. Okay. I should. I should be. In, uh, my my execution paths should be inside the working directory. 
So I'm in the working directory right now, and this is my file. So now at this point in time, I use uh, I, PSQL, uh, maybe I think a demo, uh, 0, 3, uh, 12, uh, 20, dot SQL. This is, yeah, table is created. So that's really good, right? Let me clear the structure so that um, CLS. Okay, now at this point in time, if I use select uh, all from, from student, then I should be able to get there are no rows. Okay, because I didn't, there is table. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I think I, this is the correct. Yeah. The table is created inside the database students, but we have not. Uh, populated this table with anything. So now what I do, I just uh, insert some values, insert into student, okay, and there are a number of ways to do this activity here. Uh, suppose if I just uh, go straight away with values like this, okay, uh, it's not a good option because if I straight away go here and put some uh, values, you see here uh, it's auto increment. Let's see. Okay, I just want to. I neglect the ID and I go for my first uh, name that is K and the last name that is M, my name. And then AG is something around 45. And then constraint, I don't need to do anything. But, uh, let me see if I. Uh, and I have to comment this because I don't want to re execute, execute this part of the file once again. That's surely I'm unnecessarily putting pressure on PSQL if I am doing that. So now I think this is okay. Let me just uh, go to the console now and let's see. Fine. Oh, <laughs> that is the problem. Okay. Inside of the student values. Okay. In my input syntax for type. Uh, yeah. So this is not good. So we have to. It is always better to. I want to. Uh, uh, I mean, insert the values for F name, L name, and then I'm sorry, a lot of uh, H H. That's it. And now I think it should be okay. I don't know. We don't need to take care of serial ID because it is defined as serial. Serial means in PSQL, it is a data type which will take care of auto increment. So it is. It happens automatically. Now, now you see it's on one row is inserted at this point in time. If I just go here and I can do this here itself. Now, 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 what I'm doing is actually the tree. This is create. I created a table. Okay. This is create. Now I am trying to retrieve by using a command called um, select. Select <laughs> from Okay, from student. Let's see. Yes, we got one uh, row getting created. Now what I do, I just, uh, you know, try to um, uh, re-execute this file. I intend, I, I intended would like to do a mistake. So that later I rectify that with the help of an update uh, command. Okay, so I come here and I again execute this file. Yes, one row is completely created. Now you see I have two rows with the same. Uh, see this serial ID is created automatically, but two people with uh, I don't want uh, the same person having two rows, right? Like right. It is, it is not a good uh, strategy. Uh, it is always better to have a, a row for each individual. Now what I do, I can rectify that mistake. Okay. By using um, a particular command called update. So I explain how to create, how to retrieve. Now I am in the third uh, activity. There is third task in CRUD called upgrade. Up up the student okay 
uh, f name equal equals uh, maybe I can say yes and then uh, l name equals uh, m and where id is equal to 2 so I don't have problem with uh, you know h that's okay fine okay so if that is up update student set I think yeah. set f name is a cell name is let's see and this I should uh, comment now otherwise it is just going to create one more no, row with now come back here mm, let me execute oh up grade student Great. Uh, set of name. I think I don't think I this. I don't have any. Let me see if I. The command is okay. I don't think there is any error here. Set um, update. Update. I'm extremely sorry. Update student here. Now come here. Yes. Now at this point in time, if I use select retrieve, I am retrieving. I am trying to retrieve. A, yeah. Yes. Now successfully. Now I am going to do one more thing here. Uh, let me comment this. Okay. And now I once again do this update. This time I I also want to update the um, H H H is equal to 43 where ID is two. So that way the entire second row will be distinct from the first row. See now come back to the editor. I mean the PSQL shell. And now execute the same file. Yes, updated at this point in time. If I use select, fantastic. So the first row is totally different from the second row. These are the two different individuals. We, we now don't need to worry about duplication of the data inside the table. Okay, fine. So the three of the activities are tasks of CRUD I have shown you. Uh, we use create to create select to retrieve here okay and then update to update sorry update to update and then last one is drop delete so how are you going to drop we can we we will drop the maybe we can we, we can delete a row we can delete a table we can delete the whole database i'm going to show you how to delete a row okay to delete a delete a row we usually go for uh, we have a particular uh, operation that is, I think, delete. Um, I think for the table, we drop it. Uh, we let me use del delete. Should I use row? No, I think I'm, I'm sure it's I forgot the. Let me use. A, uh, wait a minute. How to delete a row uh, in PSQL? I think we just have a deleting rows in a table. Uh, I'm extremely sorry, I have a short memory. <laughs> delete from table name where condition. Okay, fine. Delete from table where condition return select list all. Okay, fine. Delete from table. Delete. And just I'll, let me give the browser as well. So delete from table student uh, where ID ID is equal to one. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Now let me 
uses. Yes, something is deleted. Now I think, uh, yes, row number one was deleted. Now let me use two. Okay. And uh, yes, it is also deleted. Now let me see. Nothing is there inside the table, right? So let me delete the table itself, the whole table. That I can do here inside the shell itself. Okay. So what I do, what do I need to do? Let me first, uh, okay, what is happening? Let me first uh, clear the clutter in my shell. Yes. Okay. Drop table. It's very simple. Drop table and then student. Okay. Yes. Now, at this point in time, if I use uh, DT, no table at all. Now, where am I? I am inside students, right? Select current data base. Okay. I am students. So, we, we are still inside the students. Now, what I need to do is I should change the database. I cannot delete the database by inside the database. Okay. Now what I do, I go to post grace and now this is changed, you see, I change the post grace. Now I can drop the database, drop database uh, student, students, yeah, now with this, I use L, I don't have that, you know, the total database was got deleted from the from the available databases inside this is actually the whole tutorial for CRUD operation I, in this video i'm showing you how to create the database and create a table inside the database and also populate that table with uh, some certain uh, rows and columns and then uh, manipulate the data by update and then deleting a row and finally dropping the table as well as uh, the database from the from the PSQL uh, database. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the new content and please subscribe to my video channel.